Hiya, it's Donna, how you doing? So last time I talked about um, who you are being when you don't feel good and the idea that you're basically not being your best self when you don't feel good. And I just wanted to expand on this idea of our best self. Um, who do you feel your best self is? When you're at your best, when you are being completely fabulous, what are you being? What does that mean to you? So to me, it means being open-minded, joyful, fun, easygoing, relaxed, peaceful, loving, generous, um, and all that kind of thing. Um, and I really like that self. I really, really like that self. The one who's a bit mean, who's a bit narky, who's a bit miserable, who's a bit horrible. <laughs> I don't quite enjoy that so much. And, you know, this is not about making yourself wrong in any way, shape or form. I don't advocate that at all because, you know, you, you kind of can't get it wrong. This The whole purpose of life, in, in my view, is to learn about who we are. So, you know, by, by being angry and aggressive and nasty, I learn that that's not really me because I don't like it. It doesn't feel good when I'm being like that. So I get to learn by contrast instead of just by being it. And you know, um, let me use an example that we all know, being in love. How would you know how great being in love is if you always had it, if you'd just always been in love with everything from the moment you were born? Maybe you take it a bit for granted. I know that we do take a lot of things for granted, <laughs> really take a lot of things for granted. But the contrast shows us, the contrast is a great way to show us that actually being in love is amazing and it's beautiful and it's a wonderful thing. And we know this because we've had experience of not being in love, of being heartbroken and, and of having, um, you know, that kind of separation from who we really are. That, to me, is heartbroken. Uh, <laughs> but that's a tale for another day, I think. So... Um, so who is your best self? Who are you when you're your best self? What are you being? What does that mean to you? Answer that question and then just see, you know, is that, are you being that compassionate, joyful, loving person? And could you be a little bit more of that? And this ties into what I was talking about last time. Um, you know, when you notice, when you feel bad, you're not being your best self, aha! awareness also when you know who your best self is then you can spot opportunities to be your best self if your best self is generous and, and you never have a chance to exercise that generosity then there's a task for you this week find a way to exercise one of the aspects of your very best self and enjoy it and let me know how you get on